Hey guys, so I'm going to make a shaker flip book. <laughs> I think that's what they're called. I don't know. I saw something on Pinterest um, a while back and I decided let's try it. I am not sure the exact measurements and exact things. We're just going to go with it. Um, so I'm going to use these sheets of paper because it's whatever I had available and I don't want to go look for anything else. <laughs> I'm kind of lazy and I want to make a video because it's been a while since I posted a video. So we're going to go with this. These are pretty colors. Uh, my favorite color is green. love the gold. So there's perfect. So for your pockets, we're going to use, um, what do you call these? Acetates? No. Yeah, acetate. These are like projector sheets, clear sheets. I don't know what you want to call them. You can use that or let me go to the other one. You could use like these baggies and just cut them to the size you want. And I'm not using this bag because it's easier. I don't want to cut the acetate. Um, I also use that for my washi samples and stuff. So yeah, so this is, let's see, like a little bit smaller than four and a half. So like four and a quarter. So that's what I'm going to cut my squares, that size. So these are four and a half wide and I'm going to cut them four and a half wide by five because I want to be able to um, have a little fold, a little extra to fold to make the flip part. So we're going to go to five. And I think I need a new blade soon, so we'll see. Let me move that to the side. Okay. So these are going to be for the frames. And you know what? I need the cutter back. Now we're going to create a window. So the window, I think I want it, I want it half an inch wide. So I'm going to line it up half an inch there. And then I'm going to start in the middle. Let me zoom in really quick. So I'm going to start in the middle. Right here you can see that half an inch is right there. So I'm going to go to half an inch. And then since this is four and a half, let's see. Oops, I moved it too much. Since this is four and a half, we're gonna go to four. So we're gonna try to line it up with four. There we go. Now we're going to do this side. And this side's gonna be the tricky part because we're gonna move it again to the half inch. We're gonna start in the middle. We're gonna go down to the half an inch, which is right there. Then you're going to go up to a to four because the other one we went to four, keep it to four. Since it's longer for the fold, just keep it to four. So we're gonna go up to four. We're going to do the same thing to this side and what you could do is just flip it over so you could keep the same um, procedure which is start in the middle, go to a half, then go all the way to four. Now for this one, since we have an extra inch, an extra half an inch, you're going to go to one inch instead of half an inch. Then you're going to start in the middle, go to two, one half to one half and then go to four and therefore you have a little window see you have a little window okay so I'm going to go cut all of them and I'll see you right back okay so <laughs> my chair is really squeaky I need some it's a WD-40 or whatever that is and that's what I need okay so what we're going to do now is score at the quarter of inch and you could do this with a ruler just line up your ruler and fold um, or just fold this to this edge like this which doesn't seem that bad and just fold but since I have a scoring board I'm gonna use that which I don't know if it's easy or not at half an inch Add half an inch. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. I'll lose that. Move that to the side. Ah. Okay. Now we're just going to fold it so we could crease it. So now they're all creased and we have our outline or frame. Now there's the fun part which I should have planned this before we started but we're going to do it together. Okay, We're going to look at ephemera that I have all the way down here. Yeah I was using it for something and I store them all here so now I get to go through them. Okay, so something that goes with these colors, I'm thinking this one, maybe that one, some gold, love, um, oops, not a seven, I don't know, an anchor looks cute, uh, Feather, 1,000 goodnight kisses, man. Nah. Okay, I'm gonna speed this up because I don't, I don't think you want to see everything. Okay, so now we're going to cut the um, pockets a bit smaller than, because these are long ones, they're like envelope size. Oh, not this, wrong one. We're going to use that to cut these, line them up. And I think they're going to be, let's see, we said four and a half, so four and a half too. A little bit smaller than four and a half, so maybe four and three eighths. And just cut. And don't throw these away, you might be able to use them for something else. Now we have little pockets. And I didn't need to cut that many things, I only needed three, so we'll put this one to the side. Now I'm thinking. I want to put that with right there. So what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna oh, damn! My punch is weird. I mean, my stapler is weird. I want to cover the back too because you're going to be able to see the back so let's find something right there so where's my glue you know what I want something to dry that dries faster so I'm going to use um I don't know where I left it whatever we'll stick with that I'm trying to find the sticky the double sided tape but it's okay Right there. And you can't see the staples. So. But it's okay. Okay, now we're going to put something, some glitter and sequins in there first. So, I got these sequins from Dollar Tree. And I got these from Michaels. And I like these flowers. So, this. Open them. And 
and I should have some like a little bowl of something here to mix them but I can't find anything so what am I gonna use huh give me a second okay I found a little a little gift box so I'm gonna use that so I'm thinking I want to maybe color coordinate Nah, I just put a few. So I'll put a few of those. Oh, are they so pretty? I have to find a way to... Or a little baggy. Then I have... Sweet beets. I don't have that many, but it's okay. Then I have some... This white ones. Then um, blue. Oops, I can't even open this. <laughs> Maybe I should have more rainbow ones. Those are pretty cool. Uh, uh oh, I went crazy, didn't I? Oh, uh, whatever. It's okay. What else can I put? I don't really have much sequins besides those colorful ones and those white ones. I think I have, let's see. I have some of this, which is more like the translucent thing. Um, Michael's, I think. Uh, and what else? You know, whatever. You know, I'm gonna put all my seed beads. I have, I have to go look for my big pack of them. I got my brother-in-law gave me some for Christmas a while back, and I didn't use all of them. And then my aunt gave me some for Christmas, like the following Christmas. So I had like a lot. You know what? Let me put it right, put it right there. And shake it. Okay. Okay, now. Let's just throw them in there. do to close it because for some reason my fuse tool is not working that great I'm gonna use washi and I'm gonna use this one I mean you're, you're not really going to see the washi but if for some reason you can see it then this will match those that style so what you're gonna do is get washi that will cover the top part so make there and then right there and we have some two shaker parts okay now I think I want to use this one nope I'm gonna stick with the gold one now I do need my sticky tape let me go find it Okay, so I found my tape. What you're gonna do is all four sides. sticky and I'm trying not to move too much because my chair is super squeaky <laughs> I do need a better chair I've had this chair for 
Let's see. Well, Crystal should remember that we bought it, I think, like eight, ten, eight years ago, nine years ago. I think we were living in the set and behind Walmart. That's what I remember. Okay. So I want this to be the front. So I'm going to try and center it. There you go. Do you have the front? Now let's do the back. And you could keep the same color or you could do a different color. It's up to you. I'm going to keep the same color. So now I'm going to fold this back and we're going to try our best to line it up. And there we have the front of our shaker pocket. Now I'm trying to make the crease properly. And we're going to do the next one, which should be like this. And I'll just glue it. You know what? I found the sticky tape. I mean, the yeah, the double-sided tape already. Why not use it? We're going to put it at right at the edge of the crease. the edges and then we're going to put that right there on the edge too and fold and you might see a little bit you could easily just oh it's from the other one so we'll just cut from that one you know what if you cut it short it doesn't matter just cut a little bit so it's not too long And if it's all crooked, it doesn't matter, you're not going to see it. Now, I'm just going to put a little bit of glue in there so it holds down. Okay, now what you get to do is make the other po pockets. So for that, I'll just fast forward. You don't need to see everything. Well, I mean, you don't need to, I don't need to explain everything. You can see everything. <laughs> okay.
Okay, for the last one, you won't need this extra edge, so we're going to cut it off. You only need that one if you're going to keep adding. I was going to add, but I don't, I, I just want to make it small, so if I do have to ship it internationally, it shouldn't, it shouldn't be too bulky. And um, if you ever want to ship anything internationally, I suggest that you, even if, I mean, sometimes it's hard because what you make is bulky, but instead of folding it all and like how it's supposed to go, just open it as flat as you can. Put it in a flat rate envelope, not flat rate envelope, just the envelope, a flat envelope, and it shouldn't be as expensive as the package. Okay, let me finish this now.
Oh, okay, so there's the finished thing, but I wanted that on the back. I mean, on the... I wanted the other... facing the other way, but I already glued it, so... Unless I do this... See, brilliant, but then it opens the wrong way, so no. And let me show you what I just noticed, the mistake I made. When I fold... When I glue this one, I didn't glue it all the way, so it has an extra border. And then I decided to cut this, the little thing, wherever it was. I shouldn't have cut. I didn't want to make it too bulky, but I should have just left it. Now you can see how it looks. And again, there's my first attempt. It's all messy. It's not perfect. Um, but I think it's cute. It's very noisy and shaky, which is perfect. I like how I the back of that card had color so you can't see it. Right here, I like how that one had color. I should have put something with color there. Um, I I should have made a fourth flip um, um, thing so it would close and there will be like the closing on this side. Um, I should have made a lot of things. But we, everything's through prior and error so this is cool I think I'm gonna add enamel dots because who doesn't love enamel dots see it kind of looks ugly right there you know maybe I could put like washi there but then it won't make it look as pretty okay back to what we were doing enamel enamel dots and who doesn't love enamel dots and I did go crazy with enamel dots at Hobby Lobby and Michael's, so yeah. I'm thinking right here, something green, arrows, orange. Ooh, orange will look cute. Pink. Ooh, I like pink. I want to hoard my enamel dots, but I shouldn't because then nobody gets to see how pretty they are. So, what about that? there and then go find some cute little dots those and some rhinestones I had to get well these were on clearance so I got them but look at these and I want to make a flip book with the pop fist paper um, paper that I got on my last not last kit but the kit before that you know what since I'm sticking with pink I'm gonna put different shades of pink and this one is from Hobby Lobby. These ones are from Michaels. Okay. And I'm bad at plate. See, I'm just trying to place enamel without looking. And the back, since it's in the, there's what you see in the front, now I'm going to put them on the back. Okay. Shine bright like a diamond, so I should put something like a diamond. And see, I wanted to add more ephemera or stickers, so let's find stickers. You know what? Nope, yes, no, yes, maybe. I have 
Uh, thought it had stickers outside, but no. I think I, they're all over the place. I move a lot of things around, so now I don't have stickers accessible. Hmm. Huh. I have these from some kits I had, maybe. Would this go? No, there's already too many. No, maybe that's for a different kind of flip book. You know what? I'm gonna use that for Crystal's birthday. Her birthday is next month, and this would be perfect, but no, let's figure something out. Oh, there's words. I have butterflies. Nah. You know what? I'm gonna leave it like that so I could splur splurge with enamel dots and, um, and stickers for her birthday card. But yeah, so this was my first attempt at a shaker pocket flip book. And isn't it cool? I'm 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 really loving the shaking part. And you know what? This might be a perfect idea for my friends. Give them a few of the plastic things already cut, everything cut for them. All they have to do is add their sequins and their pictures. You know what? I am gonna send shaker pocket flipbook kits to all my friends. Well, not all of them, some of them, because I don't think I, I have enough time. I have to be studying too. But yeah, so what do you guys think? Let me know. Make sure you like the video, subscribe, comment below, and tell me what else I should have added or I should have done different. Or if you want to see another tutorial where I'm a bit more precise and I take my time and not rush. But yeah. Oh, I'm super excited. These are super cool. You know what? I'm gonna be in my living room trying to study shaking this. It's so adorable. And you know what? Before I go, I have to figure out how I'm going to close it. I don't want to add twine because I know cover everything. Maybe a clip. And you know what? One of my friends, slash co-worker, she gave me a beautiful, beautiful slip book. And she put, um, if I could find them. She put these pretty clips on the flip book and you know, I can't even find them. Huh. And I think that would be perfect. You know what? Hold on. This is where I keep my little washi sample thingies, but I'm gonna use that. And look. And then maybe hang a charm or something like that. Yep, that is gonna, that's what's going to happen. I'm going to make a charm and just hang it from there. Maybe add this to the top so it holds the whole thing. And then a charm with what she likes and stuff like that. Okay, guys. Thank you for watching again. I'll see you guys next time. Again, don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you want to see more stuff like this. And yeah, have an awesome